All right, today I'm checking out Roik Sop. I'm listening to the song Skulls. Let's get into it. This is different. This is different. It's a tad creepy, you know, with the distortion on the vocals. You know, like if I had some kind of voice changer, I feel like, you know, you have a, a kid, you have the voice changer, makes your voice like that. You think it's kind of cool. That's what this sounds like. Well, the name of the song is Skull, so that makes sense. But this is definitely giving me like, kind of like a creepy interpretive dance feel, you know, if you want to run. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't need to be doing it, but I, I'll show you a little bit what I'm talking about. You get, like interpretive dance with real creepy like like blood could be dripping all over you you're being recorded for a movie you're trying to creep someone out it's like that kind of feel but this is what you guys call electronica gotta be because everything about this just sounds like it would be the genre electronica electric something like that Like that, you know what I mean? Like creepy interpretive dance. So creepy. That was the creepiest thing we've seen in a while, man. Cause that wasn't like over the top creepy. 
you know, you might have a clown and some stuff that's very dramatic, scary movie, creepy, over the top. No, that was just genuinely creepy. Like, what were they wearing? You know what? Hold on, I'm, I'm rewinding it. Hold up, what? Guys, what is this? Ah, I don't want to hear that creepy noise again. But what? Like, like this. That's like a, it's called skull, skull and crossbone. Secret society, ritualistic stuff. Like, they could be on their way to sacrifice somebody right now, and I would not be shocked. Not at all. That song was genuinely creepy. Oh my goodness. At least uh, the vocals were unique. You guys know I like unique vocals. The vocals are very unique. Uh, kind of remind me of Daft Punk. It had like that kind of similar robotic effect. But it, this one didn't make me want to do the robot. It made me want to rub blood all over my body. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like something like that. Uh, I don't know what Royce Sop is anymore, guys. Like We've only heard one song from Royce Sop. And the sound was completely different. Completely different. How do you go? Dang it, I was going to pull it up. How do you go from that? The song we heard right here. Here's a little clip. It's like party, but beautiful. You know what I mean? Great vocals. You know what I mean? Beautiful, beautiful vocals, party music. But the thing those songs have in common was you guys told me this song, like, the run into the sea was about a tragedy where 69 children, or I think it was children, 69 children lost their life in a tragedy. So that is not actually a happy topic, even though the song sound like, you know, she had a cool voice and it was party music. This song also has a beat that you could party to, but it's creepy. I don't know what the lyrics were about, but I heard something about blood, at least blood or flood or something. So both songs, I guess, lyrically and whatever, they have a creepy relation like creepy and tragedy is both not happy is Royce Sop a band that isn't necessarily about happy songs you get what I'm saying like they maybe cover tragedies and do some other creepy stuff maybe both these songs probably had a death theme to them I'd be shocked if this song had nothing about death in it Royce Sop might be a band that likes the dark and mysterious